How's it going, everybody? Cody with Level Up Games here, and we are here with our CEDH event winner, Calvin Fans. So, Calvin, what were you playing today? Uh, actually, it's Calvin Pond. Pond. It's a common misconception. Well, I stand corrected. <laughs> my apologies. Uh, I'm feeling good. It's, uh, I think, my fourth or fifth week coming here for this event, and uh, I love the artifact combo, and Tibbet is everything I want in an artifact combo. So what exactly is your combo? What was getting you there it's today? The, the time sieve. I Two of the games I got the time sieve, and one of them I got the consultation, the Oracle. And that, that really just... This is time sieve, Thopter, Foundry? No, time sieve and Tivit. That's and Tivit all you itself. Need. Okay. Tivit just makes five artifacts, and uh, you just sack five artifacts, take an extra turn, make five more artifacts, and you just kill them with combat damage. That's it gets kind of hairy when there's three-player games or when someone drops out. We had a, a moment earlier where someone conceded after they took damage, and uh, my number goes down of artifacts. So I need to keep casting artifacts or hopefully get there it, with the amount of artifacts I have on the board. So it worked out pretty well. So you ended up with the three O today. So did you have any of the matchups where you thought you weren't going to get it? I always feel like I'm going to get it. Even when I'm delusional, I feel like I'm going to get it. Got to love the confidence there, yeah. at least. I, I mean, Esper. You have to have the Esper confidence. So you did come up and say at one point that there was a table that had three different Tivits on the field. Yeah, what I exactly happened Tivit. there? You know, it turns out Ward on Tivit doesn't mean that much for clones. Because <laughs> I had my Tivit. The next guy over Phantasmal Image copied my Tivit. The next guy had Sakashima, the imposter, and Sakashima student. And if it, if it went around, if I didn't win on my turn and went around to him, he would have been able to get infinite clues with his ninjutsus. <laughs> Which a few moments later. All right, so you came up and mentioned that there was a point in one of the games where there were three different tivots on the field. What exactly four happened? Tivots four tivots on the field. So how exactly did we get to that point? So I have my tivot. The next guy in turn order plays a Phantasm, which gets his tivots. And then the next guy after him plays a Sakashima student. He was on Yuriko. And then he played a Sakashima the Imposter. And so he had two tivots. And I felt really bad with my Tivit. Turns out other Tivits is a pretty bad matchup for Tivit. Because you need to deal the combat damage to get the treasures. Fair enough. So as for anybody who might be kind of wary as far as getting into the CEDH format, do you have any tips or advice for somebody who's just looking to get in the door? Uh, if you're playing artifact combo, pack removal for the Null Rock because everyone's packing a Null Rock. All right, fantastic. Well, thanks for sitting down with us to do the quick little interview, and we'll hopefully see you next week. Yeah.